Hello friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about genomics, proteomics and metabolomics. You have probably heard these names a lot of times in your life during the study processes. Genomics, proteomics, metabolomics, transcriptomics. So what are these things actually and what those things mean? I'm not going to talk about details of each of these topics because I have already videos on what is proteomics and what is metabolomics individually. So you can search for all these videos like proteomics and metabolomics in YouTube and find my video and watch that uh, completely to know more about those topics. But in a very nutshell, I'm going to talk about what are these things and how these things are interrelated and why these things are required for us to know. So let's go. So in the very beginning, what I need to you to know is that uh, in this whole process this metabolomics proteomics genomics they are nothing but the study disciplines of biology and more specifically they are the study disciplines of genetics because if you start with a genotype that we all know that at the very beginning there is genotype that means uh, whatever genetic makeup of DNA that we have in our body and then another thing is the phenotype which we can observe from outside that is a phenotype so these are the two things genotype which is which is the inner side phenotype the outer side that we can see so whatever thing is there inside our body inside the gene in, in the DNA is actually controlling what is going to be our phenotype right so if we make a journey from genotype towards phenotype what different molecules we encounter for example at the very beginning genotype means the study of genes and the genetic makeup that means the chromosome and inside that the DNA in the DNA the gene so that is belonging to the genotype and if you go slightly uh, downstream of it that means once the DNA uh, is there and there are RNAs that are being produced from DNA which are the messenger of the DNA sequences or the messenger of the DNA codes that are that are written in the DNA so those RNA is there and the study of RNA and, and related to all the RNA molecules that are present in a cell or in a specific condition in, inside the system is called as transcriptomics because all the D RNA that are present inside the cell at a particular time or, or in a particular system will be termed as transcriptome right so once you know that those RNA will be translated into proteins so now we have proteins, protein structures, protein functions. So all the proteins that are present in, inside the cell at a particular uh, consequence, at a particular time, or let's say in a, in a particular system, that is called as a proteome. The whole system of proteins that are present is called proteome. And the study uh, in which, and the discipline of science and discipline of biology in which we understand the structure and function of all the proteins that are present inside the cell will be called as proteomics. Right now, after that, once we go from proteins to the metabolite level, let's say those proteins and they interact with each other, the protein protein interaction, and all those chemical reactions that are going on inside our body, like the glycolysis, like Krebs cycle, like many metabolic pathways, and they are related with each other. And this whole metabolic system inside the cell will be called as a metabolome of our cell, and the study related to that will be called as metabolomics. So that's that's how you can see from DNA to RNA to protein to metabolite we have genomics to transcriptomics then proteomics then metabolomics so now let's move on to now for each of this discipline like transcriptomics metabolomics proteomics genomics we have different types of equipment we require different types of equipment to actually analyze our results for example if you are looking for proteomics and understanding the protein structure we need certain type of uh, of a setup for example the mass spectrometry two-dimensional gel electrophoresis process other types of gel electrophoresis process to know so that those are the equipment that we require and also we need to analyze some data to finally understand what is going on there right so this is the actual link we are going from genotype to phenotype during that time uh, we are studying all these different phases like DNA RNA protein and metabolites and we are using different equipments to do so so now let's talk more about it in schematics if you see the DNA means genome here so genomics RNA transcriptome deals with transcriptomics proteins deal with proteomics proteomics and then the metabolome means either sugar nucleotide amino acids lipids all the metabolites all the macromolecules and how they interact with each other and we are going from the genomics towards the phenotype remember so let's talk a little bit about each of this definition what is genomics actually in simple words genomic is a discipline in genetics that applies the recombinant DNA technology or the DNA sequencing methods and as well as the bioinformatics 
to sequence, assemble and analyze the function and structure of genomes. That means the complete set of DNA within a single cell or an organism, whatever, right? So we actually understand the gene structure there. And the second one is the transcriptome. And what is transcriptomics? Transcriptomics, actually, transcriptomics is a study of the transcriptome. Now, what is transcriptome? The transcriptome here, this is, that means the complete set of RNA transcripts that are produced by the genome under specific circumstances or in a specific cell. And we use high throughput methods like high throughput sequencing and also microarray analysis to ultimately know what is the transcriptome structure and how the function of transcriptome is going on in a particular cell. The, then the proteomics, this is in a large scale study of proteins, particularly their structures and function of all those proteins. Look at their motifs, their domains, how they function. Then the metabolomics at the end. It's a scientific, again, again, it's a scientific discipline to study the chemical process involving metabolites inside the cell. Specifically, metabolomics means, you know, systemic study of unique chemical fingerprints that specific cellular process leave behind during different metabolic reactions, right? So now these are the interactions between all them, all of them, like the genomics is standing there with DNA and RNA structure, the genome structure, the characterization of the DNA, like the DNA sequence, analysis of the DNA, like the gene expression, and cloning and characterization, and molecular markers. All of these things and related, the study of, of these things will be related with the genomics there, right? Everything that uh, along this part will be in, inside genomics. Then we, have the pro then we have the proteomics here, the characterization of the genome function and the protein level expression of and, and, the, and, the, and the analysis of those genome expression in the protein level will be proteomics. And the metabolomics is the metabolic profile, right? The status analysis of a metabolic pathway, the metabolic synthesis and accumulation, everything under this will be metabolomics. And you know all of this like genomics, proteomics, metabolomics and also transcriptomics which is not uh, shown here they are ultimately relying on bioinformatic analysis because the bioinformatics is a tool which can connect all of these things together to give you a solid understanding of what's going on inside the cell. Now if you look at the connection here you can see this is a system what kind of system it is any kind like like uh, let's say the yeast it's a very simple eukaryote or a drosophila or C. elegans or zebra fish or the, the mouse or human whatever it is they are the model organisms that are present whatever organism that there is whatever organism is present we have all this idea like like you know in proteomics why we want to sh uh, see the isoform of the proteins the dynamics of the protein the interaction between proteins the structure and function of the protein modifications of the proteins and to understand all these things we need to rely on certain methods and obviously certain machineries the Methods here are we use for the proteomic study are mass spectrometry, yeast two hybrid system to find out the protein protein interaction, then the GFP FRET, the green fluorescent protein identification, the confocal microscopy to see, the fluorescence analysis, the protein arrays, the chemical arrays, and the antibody arrays to identify all of these things, right? So these are the different methods that we rely on to study proteomics. On the other hand, if you look at the genomics part, the genomics we deal with the expression of a gene, size, splicing of the gene, and the genomic alterations, cellular phenotype, and and all this how how these genomes are actually relating with the phenotypic expressions. So all these things related to genomics, and and actually the genomics can be divided into two parts: the structural genomics and the functional genomics. The structural genomics used to deal with the structure of the gene, whether there is intron or exon, and how they function, how the splicing is going on, why splicing occurred, and what are the different variations of the same gene can be possible. On the other hand, the functional genomics we look at the expression of these genes and all those genomic analysis systems and also we need some methods some other methods to know some other techniques to understand and those techniques are DNA microarray system DNA barcode analysis system the barcode arrays the cellular arrays RNA interference machinery forward and reverse genetic synthetic uh, synthetic genetics and all these different kind of methods and also we require different techniques and different machines to actually get that get a microarray analysis machine and all the things right so these are the this is the connection of a particular system with all this uh, genomics proteomics or transcriptomics whatever we are talking
and this is an example of all this process and how this process actually works if we start with this let's say this is a plant arabidopsis thaliana for example we begin with this particular plant now we need to look for uh, the whatever uh, proteins or whatever whatever rna the total content of rna that is present in this particular plant right so actually let's say we want to understand what is the protein that is there which helps this flower uh, this this plant to provide this such a beautiful colorful flower so to understand that we need to know what are the mrnas that are coding for those proteins so we need to look for the transcriptomics and there are 20000 approximate genes are there and we need to find out what are the different rnas there and how they are interacting with each other and we use transcriptomics analysis to find that out using dna microarray so once we understand that we we add it with the bioinformatics we integrate with bioinformatic analysis to get a result so once we get the result what we now need to do we need to go for the dna i mean gene function prediction we can predict the gene function what can the gene be i mean what what is the function of the gene by simply integrate this results of transcriptomics with bioinformatics and once we know that this gene might be related with some kind of over expression analysis protein like pmg1 so let's predict that and find that out so we need to confirm that process and we then go for the uh, the identification of the protein level and we need to check for whether that protein is present or not we extract that protein find the proteomic analysis using mass spectrometry and uh, 2d gel electrophoresis and other processes to find out that protein now if we find that protein out and we can also find that protein's importance during the process inside this inside this plant uh, to find out whether the the length of the plant or the power flower flower color of the plant is uh, uh, due to the presence of that protein or not now we find that after all these things yes in this case in wild type that protein present in very minute amount but uh, the over expression it is very high and due to that reason they produce this glucocyanolate uh, protein and that causes this plant to have a particular thing so for that reasons we can actually use this so 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 this is an example of how we can use metabolomics transcriptomics and proteomics everything together to this to for a particular uh, purpose of our desire to fulfill a purpose of our desire so that's what we we have seen and for that remember we need to use many different machineries and techniques for example in the first video we have seen for the study of the genomics we need to understand uh, this dna sequencing and we need dna sequencer for the transcriptomics we definitely need the microarray system for the proteomics we definitely need the 2d gel electrophoresis apparatus as well as the mass spectrometry and we, for the metabolomics we require different kinds of chromatography the gas chromatography mass spectrometry the gcms the nmr spectroscopy the extra crystallography and all these processes and and the, at, and the last we have the flux we haven't talked about that but still these are the major things and how we actually correlate with all these things so this in a sense is overview of all these processes and i hope that's helpful if you like the video do not forget to subscribe so hit the subscribe button and also hit the like share these videos in your social network break the sharing button actually uh, so that's it guys thank you